joining us halfway through this Monday at noon. I'm Brennan Summers. That is our top story at noon. The day after that storm, scenes of devastation coming in from around New York. States of emergency declared, including for Ontario County. Canandaigua, the hardest hit there. Downstate, we've learned one woman was killed while evacuating her home. She and her dog were swept away in the floodwaters trying to reach her car. Here's Governor Kathy Hochul moments ago addressing New Yorkers. We're calling this a 1,000 year event. It's only the second time ever that the National Weather Service issued a flash flood emergency. The last time was Hurricane Ida. My friends, this is the new normal. And we in government, working with our partners on the ground, have to work with our communities to build up resiliency, to be prepared for the worst because the worst continues to happen. The governor says requests for aid from the federal government, FEMA, and the Army Corps of Engineers at West Point has been made. She always plans later today to make a visit to see the damage in Canandaigua. As for un what's unfolding there in Canandaigua and neighboring communities, we're also getting new updates on the storm response. A briefing just wrapping up within the last couple of minutes. Alex Love was there and joins us live with a recap. Alex. Absolutely, Brendan. We walked out of the briefing just moments ago. The assessment for storm damage is still going on, and state emergency personnel are out in the field assisting county and local authorities, which they say will take days to sort through. We know as of this morning, more than 600 customers are still without, are still without power and gas, while West Gibson Road in Canandaigua remains closed. There are minor damages to, to count the county's public transit route, but nothing that will delay busing or travel along those ways. At least nine people are known to be displaced from yesterday's flash flooding, but we're told they're housed in shelters and are safe. The only shelter open to the public right now is the Zion Fellowship Church on Bristol Road in Canandaigua, and it will, re it will remain open as long as needed. While some people were, were while, there, while there were no deaths in Ontario County, there was at least one injury with an electrical worker, we're told, who was, who was trying to, uh, to attend to so, some machinery when the flooding first happened. He had to be taken to Strong Hospital, where he is listed right now in stable condition. Take a listen. In the town of Canada, well, there was a, uh, an electric worker that was actually electrocuted early on in this. He was conscious when he was transported by Canada Ambulance up to Strong Hospital. We do not have an update on his condition as of today, but again, he was conscious when he, when he left the scene. Well, as much more coming up in our later newscast and on our website, rochesterfirst.com. Live in Canandaigua, Alex Love, News 8. Alex, thanks. So many of you may find the images out of Canandaigua hard to believe because so many of us didn't even get really a drop of right. rain.